I don't even know what goes where. This is actually, uh, will be my first day in the house. Yesterday the movers came, and uh, my wife and kids spent the whole day here with the movers, and she kind of dictated where she wanted things. So today I'll just probably be taking orders from her, or unpack this box, unpack that box. Because I don't know where, where she wants things. Oops, wrong way. Don't even know my bedroom yet. First thing I asked was, where am I going? But uh, when he said Colorado, it uh, made things a lot easier. So. Cool. <laughs> Do you see what? You guys, you guys are on TV now. Leah. I want to get the kitchen going so I can feed everybody first. And maybe I'll take a rest. <laughs> Do the rest tomorrow. She does everything. Uh, the hockey wife or the sports wife does everything. And I don't know if it's, it's right to say, but she helps me play better by taking care of this stuff. Do you need a beverage now that you work so hard? <laughs> Here, sit down. Can I get no, you something? No, that's all right. During the season, it's a 24-7 it's a job for the wives and, you know, with the kids, and I couldn't do it. You like this house? Yeah. You like Colorado? Is that where you live now? Do you, know the, do, you remember, do you know the team's name that we play for? I do. What are we? Oh, Avalanche. Avalanche? Uh -huh. Avalanche. <laughs> All, right. All right. You know, I've been in Washington a long time, so, you know, I'm getting a fresh start and playing with some new players. It's, it makes it exciting, and uh, can't say enough about the organization and the players here, and, uh, you know, so it makes it, makes it a lot easier to move and, and uh, uproot the family when, when you have a chance for a Stanley Cup. You know, packing up and moving, and you know, it's a nice touch to have a, you know, nice TV in the bedroom and soundtrack, excellent appliance store that it is, suggested by Timu Solani. Sonny's gotten this down to 39.99. I don't know if that's. Yeah, that, okay. we're probably looking more in that range. More in there. that range there. You know, I should have known better coming here. You know, me and Timu aren't are exactly in the same pay bracket. So I can't bring it back in the middle. Well, he's a comedy show sometimes, and you know, we sometimes have to get the duct tape out to, to, to shut his mouth a bit. Do you have DVD players? Yeah. I get that one. Yeah, well, it's only 99 bucks, too. <laughs> Paul Korea would like that one. I will actually tell Korea about that. Maybe he'll come pick it up. I just like picking on Paul. He's a good friend of mine. I'm not saying he's an easy target, but he is. Oh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Better start wearing a hat, too. Camera's on, here he goes. Better start wearing a hat, Paul. <laughs> Beginnings of a Propecia commercial. <laughs> we can beat up on Paul, he's just like a little brother, and we try not to, we say we're, gonna, we're not going to, and we're gonna treat the guy right and how he's supposed to, but those bad shoes he wears, I mean. I know it's cold out, but you can't wear boots like this. Those are the worst boots I've ever seen in hockey. I think he's got to wake up a little bit, but we're slowly changing him. This guy thinks Alexis is like the best car ever made. Hey. Flip your girl the keys, dude. Seriously, get a car. With that kind of money, you shouldn't be driving a Lexus. That car's good. Camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an expensive TV. It's an investment, though, right? Yeah, it's an investment in your entertainment. Wow, Rob, I'm not going to tip you. I just got news <laughs> for you. My mom and dad see this, they're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I guess it'd be good for like opening footage for a movie, but for uh, when you're just trying to get back on the ice, you know, it's tough. You know, I mean, this year, you know, so far has been really, really difficult. I'm still not in Avalanche until I, you know, I get in that action and then, and do what I've, I was brought here to do. I don't want to do come back. You know, there's, there'll be some hell to pay. Finally, I'm starting to feel like an Avalanche, totally, fully. You know, I got to wear a lot of the free stuff, but I haven't really earned anything yet, so this is the beginning. 
what he brings is is what you what you see. I mean, he's a gigantic man who plays nasty hockey. Finally, I'm back, and uh, I couldn't think of a better game to come back to. I'm worried about keeping up with these guys. I know it's a pretty good team right now. I'm worried about keeping up with these guys when I'm 100. percent hoping these are some fast guys on this team. Uh, starting, we have Pete Worrell, left. Yeah. Go. Edge yeah. up front. Scratch. Footy. Yeah. Oh, 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 wow. wow. Peter Worrell making his NHL debut in an AF uniform. You got low, Jimmy, you got low, you got this guy. He's back. He's uh, uh, a big part of what we're trying to do his physical presence, his size. <laughs> intensity. Get down there, boys. We're burning the way to win this game. We can't expect them to jump in here and beat five people up, but we can expect them to play hard, uh, being a smart, tough, good two-way hockey player. And the puck kept in by Blake. Great read. Here's Blake right in. He scores! Yes! Oh, Blake! Yes! And the Avs take a one penalty yes! lead! Great pressure down low. Oh, oh, man, so it's all right, It was a too important of a game. To go for me to go out and try to be selfish and look for a fight to get yourself into it. Made it through game one, huh? It's all that matters. It was my first game back, and I wanted to play. You know, I heard it was a novel idea to actually get in a hockey game. Everything here is about excellence. Everything here is about winning. If you don't win, you're, what's there to be happy about? We're here to win a cup this year, and. You know, we're not going to do that by not playing our best. The game in Calgary just looked like good old school hockey. Hard nose, doing everything to win. You know, it was a physical confrontation. I think Oluwai had asked me at one point, uh, or a couple of miles. I don't understand half the time what he says. It just wasn't the right time, you know, but uh, when it is the right time, he knows where to find me. With Laurel's return, the Avalanche featured a dangerous combination of skill and grit. But consecutive ties in Western Canada were enough for an abrupt wake-up call. The lesson that's learned the last two games better be taken into the next game, and the game after that, and the game after that, and the game after that. No matter who we're playing, to win 16 games in the playoffs, you guys, 60 minutes from 20 guys. And we haven't got that consistently yet, but we're so good. We cannot work and still win games, but you don't prepare yourself for a long haul and to win a Stanley Cup by doing that. Start preparing ourselves mentally to be the team that we need to be. I would think that after what happened in the last two games that you guys realize that. So that's what it's going to take the last whatever games we got, and it's going to start on Tuesday night, okay? Milan Hayduk on Nikolai Hobby Bullen, here we go. Score! Oh. Up top on Hobby Bullen! Since the Christmas break, the Avalanche have been the best team in hockey. I think you look at where the team is right now with Korea back in the lineup and Forsberg back in the lineup. This is an avalanche team that's just really starting to show what people expected and they still show signs that they can get even better. Peter's been a force, uh, his line, and again, I, I think there's challenges during the season. This is one, uh, we're coming into Anaheim, first game back here for Paul, so I, I think as a, collectively as a team, we want to get things done here tonight and, <laughs> and keep pressing forward. All right, thanks a lot. Paul, you spent 606 games with the Mighty Ducks in Anaheim. Tonight you face them for the first time. Uh, are you nervous, are you excited, or exactly what? Well, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of uh, friends coming to the game tonight. Uh, I'm sure it'll be uh, a really uh, raucous atmosphere out there. And, uh, but, I mean, those are the types of games that uh, I really enjoy playing in. You mentioned it's going to be a raucous atmosphere. Do you expect you'll be applauded, booed, or a mixture, or what? Well, I'm sure I'll be booed. <laughs> <laughs> I did it uh, just before I left today to make sure that everybody knew that Paul isn't on our team and hopefully will never return. Oh, 
Paul, are you starting tonight? Let's go, Paul! Joe Sackett tracks it down and back ends it up the boards, and there you hear it. Korea touched it for the first time and heard it for the first time. Cowboy, Cowboy! Here's Connor Walchuk. Now Korea, great pass back to Blake. Get down! Korea has picked up two assists in this third period. And the Avalanche back on top, 3-2. Gerber's gone for the extra man. So the Ducks have pulled the goalie. Now it goes to the half board right in front. The star, Federoff ties the game. Okay, it's okay, boy. There's Havlin again. Havlin one-timer, and he scores. And the Ducks win in overtime. You expected to get moved, and, you, and, and so it wasn't a surprise, but did it affect you at all? No, I didn't hear it. You know, I mean, once the game starts, um, I'm focusing on plays on the ice, not with the penalty. Oh, wow. It's uh, it's over with now, and uh, got to get ready for the next game. Despite the loss, the Avalanche set a franchise record for points in the month of January, propelling them to the top of the NHL standings. However, staying there becomes the challenge for the remainder of their season. Well, I think every game is going to mean a lot. You know, like I said, it's pretty close with the top teams, so every point is going to be valuable. And I think it's going to show coming down the stretch here. We're going to play uh, Detroit a lot of times and Vancouver, and uh, you're going to see teams getting ready and you know start playing like playoffs hockey coming coming down the stretch here. Two of the season with the Colorado Avalanche. As the NHL's fiercest rivalry is renewed, you. You. I'll do whatever I want. divisional foes will continue their battle for playoff positioning. A record 10th straight divisional title is part of the quest as the Avs head into their second half of the season. Away. Don't stop, skate. Empty the tank here, the last one here, boys. Empty the tank here. Come on, boys. Here we go, here we go, man. Two points here, boys. Come on, here. Last game, we sat back. Keep going. Come on, Scratch. Come on, boys. Hungry, hungry. Here we go, Red. Like a train, boys. Here we go. Their ultimate goal, raising Lord Stanley's Cup again.